you just fell behind by 10 right away. That's the difference in the ball game. Yeah, I know. That was that was a difference. And I mean, we just. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> I didn't know you were on. No, no, we're on here. But, you know, in a game, like I said, you fell behind early, but they continued to come back. But it was like one step forward and then two steps back, and they made more threes. That was the difference. Yeah, they did. And, you know, we had opportunities. We had shots uh, yeah. in the first half. Enough. And, uh, you know, and you got to give their, their defense credit. But we had some open shots that we didn't knock down. And, you know, that's the part of the game. It's a very – it's a – very physical game and sometimes those shots are not as easy as you may think absolutely yeah. especially inside like now now you got two more home games it's important you got two teams that are kind of struggling right now with american and bucknell two games you really got to get wins on well you know i know it's a cliche but we got to take one yeah. i mean and the, and the thing is we have to we have to recover from this game like american doesn't play tonight right you know we have to play so we got to somehow get back and get our energy back up to against a really tough team. COVID has put our schedule at a, in a very difficult place, you know. Um, so, but, hey, it is what it is. We'll, we'll get them up and, uh, and get ready to go. We'll see you back here Thursday. Thank you. Well, it's Wednesday, right? Wednesday. I'm <laughs> sorry. Wednesday. Appreciate it. Right. Thanks, Coach. Let's bring in Kyle. Kyle, uh, 12.6 rebounds, our Coca-Cola player of the game. I was telling Coach, it was like running in mud. You could, you guys were catching up, and then boom, just falling behind. But the start really didn't help you. Yeah, I mean, it started off slow. We had some good looks, but just weren't able to convert. And they hit their shots early, and so we were in the hole and had to fight back the whole game. Yeah, well, what is so difficult about that team? Obviously, the three, you got to get out on the three. You got to recover. They had a couple three-point shots they got fouled on. You guys just trying to get in there a little bit late. Yeah, I mean, their offense, they move well without the ball. Um, they hit their shooters. They find who's hot. Um, they, they, they made it hard to guard just moving the ball that much. So we just got to uh, do better with that next game. I think not help as much in the post and, and stick to those shooters a little more. Nice to have a couple high-flying dunks there, and that gets the crowd going a little bit. You guys cut it down to nine, just couldn't get over the hump. Yeah, yeah, I was just trying to make some plays to bring our team some energy, but, you know, in the end it wasn't enough. But we're, we're looking forward to the next one versus them. Yep, a home week. You got two more, American, and then Bucknell. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Gary, tough one, like you said, running in mud a little bit tonight, but the Leopards are back here at it later this week. Back to you. That's right. You don't have a lot of time to sulk because uh, they'll be right back at it in two days and then right back at it again in three more days. So let's take a look at the highlights from this one, and then we'll wrap it all up. Here's John. Well, Gary, Colgate came in as advertised, uh, one of the premier teams in the league. Uh, you know, Tucker Richardson uh, just uh, nailing it from downtown. He was just so effective tonight. Uh, then he hits another one from deep. Uh, they were 10 for 22 from downtown. And uh, again, it's not a re that's not a, uh, a replay. That's a different shot. That's Tucker Richardson knocking it out downtown. Uh, Neil Quinn gave Fran O'Hanlon some good minutes and good uh, scoring on the interior early on. Just not enough time. Let's watch him take to the baseline, turn back to the middle. Nice little half hook by the big guy inside. In the second half, Lafayette went to work inside. Again, Neil Quinn did a nice job repositioning, getting to the front of the rim and doing a better job. Then he can dish off. And then Kyle Jenkins, our Coca-Cola player of the game, cutting baseline and then going to the basket. Leo O'Boyle. Kobe's a very good team, uh, Gary. You know, they can discourage you. But having said all that, as Kyle Jenkins flushes another one, Lafayette was very competitive tonight with them. Uh, boy, you know, Jeff Ferguson is an incredible shooter. He is so, he's got a feathery soft touch. Watch this little step back right here. Step back, and that's over a forward, and it barely grazes the rim. Uh, just a terrific player. And the inside Keegan Records doesn't do more than he has to do. All, all like 270 inside, about 6'10", and he's a monster. And uh, again, inside out, you can't leave Jeff Ferguson alone. He's automatic when he had his feet under him, and... Uh, once again, uh, all roads lead uh, to Hamilton, New York, if you're looking at the Patriot League. Now, again, we saw um, we saw Boston University mm -hmm. come through here last week, Gary, and they're very, very good. I and they beat Colgate. And they beat Colgate. Saturday. So I had a sense, just from watching teams go through the first time, that between Boston University and Colgate, they seem to have that switch that they can turn on at any moment, and it's going to take a very, very good uh, outing to beat either one of those we teams. We should mention that uh, Neil Quinn picked up a double-double here tonight with 15 points and 13 rebounds. Leading uh, Colgate was 19 by Jack Ferguson as they had four guys in double figures. Lafayette with just three in double figures. Lafayette loses this one by a 72-61. to 61. 
As we mentioned, no time to feel sorry for yourself. They've got to get right back here and play on Wednesday night against the American. You're invited to join us tomorrow night. The women, that's a 6 o'clock start. Wednesday is a 7 o'clock start. The women tomorrow, they'll take on American also. That's it for Mike Joseph, for John Leone, for the Astound television team headed up by Rick Eo. We thank you for spending tonight with us. Come on back tomorrow. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.